Amen. So another question is, do you see a correlation between a decrease in lyrical theology and a decay in Christian hip hop? I want to jump in and say, I think there's a decrease in sound teaching as a whole in the yeah. church. Right. And I think this is just a, this is just a, um, a, a byproduct of yeah. what, what we're seeing is just a byproduct. In, but there, there's a decrease in lyrical theology, in gospel music, in, in contemporary Christian music, in teach. I mean, there's so many different places. I think it's because of the, the decrease in the, the, uh, the lack of sound teaching in the pulpit from the sacred, sacred box. But that was just my two cents. Um, well, make it four cents because I have the same two cents, brother. I couldn't agree I more. It. And in fact, I think that's really the, the, the ultimate correlation is the decrease in lyrical theology or even soundness in Christian hip hop is a reflection of the state of the church. Yes. And Christ has, has purchased his church with his blood and his bride is precious to him. And don't get me wrong. There are many sound churches oh, yeah. and there are many sound, uh, which I'm sure you, you, you'd agree, Jason. Um, and there are many um, preaching ministries and, and pastors who are faithfully shepherding the flock. Um, but yes, what we're seeing in CHH is really a reflection of what's going on in, 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 the, in the overall church. I love it. Thank you. So this one kind of goes along with that. All right. So you heard the, the question, man. You heard the response there. Um, what are your thoughts on that, man? Man, and, and I hope this is not happening today as well. <laughs> But I know back in the early 2000s, um, some of the cats were not going to church. Uh, I'm not going to say any names, but they were not really going to church. They were still doing um, Christian hip hop. And man, that was weird to me. Um, but I agree with those two guys. It is, it is, it is like what we see, what, what we see going on in the church, you know, in the American church today. Is you know it's it's definitely like it's gonna it's gonna show in 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 music as well. Um, if the church in America doesn't have sound doctrine, the people who go to that church are not gonna have sound doctrine as well. So um, I'm not surprised that we don't see a lot of uh, lyrical theology uh, music anymore um, because we have we have we have abandoned um, good teaching, sound teaching, you know, people don't want to be reformed anymore. They're abandoning reform because, you know, it's a westernized way of looking at Christianity. So you can't trust um, Western Christianity. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And then you have churches like Bethel, like Hillsong becoming more and more popular. So you're not going to get, you're not going to get, uh, good music good sound music and uh and and then the artists that are coming out today i i have been waiting for uh someone to come out with uh with with an album that i really enjoy that is sound but i thought ishan was the guy i used to love ishan's music mm -hmm. and then he yeah when he uh you know he announced he was a hebrew israelite and that he hasn't been going to church in four or five years. I was like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> right, right, so, right. So, um, it's like, what did that, you expect, right? Yeah, you yeah. Church for five years, there, were, think? there were a lot of guys back then in our days that were not going to church. And when, wow, wow. When I would, when I would approach them about that, hey, look, you know, I've been hearing these rumors and I, I'm sorry, man, but is this true? And mm. God would be like, you know, I'm the church, you know, you know, I, 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 I you know, I gathered together with two, three guys and, that's the church right there. Mm. You know? And we're like, okay, well, I mean, he's right, but he's wrong. We need more accountability. <laughs> yeah. God has given us elders, you know. Yes. I mean, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So, so yeah, um, th this is why we don't have a lot of lyrical theology now because, you know, a lot of our churches in America are just buying into 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 nothing man you know it's more like feel good theology like fast food church you know mm -hmm. um yeah so i agree with those brothers uh, especially jason i think jason hit it on the nail you know so yeah yeah 
No, I I, uh, I totally agree with it, and I loved the response, and and uh, it also just made me think, man, just like, you know, when as as an artist, right, you can only sort of give out what you've got inside you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that's that's naturally what's going to come out of you is what's already inside you. You know what I'm saying. So when when you are living a life that is uh, you know, saturated by the word of God, like you're engaging in God's word, you are engaging with his people, right? Yeah. You are faithful in, in the church, you are plugged into a local body and a community and, and an active member, right? Not just uh chilling in the church, right? When you're doing these things, um, you can't help but want to talk about church, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You can't help but want to write music and talk about the goodness of god or talk about even certain aspects of theology now i agree like as we said earlier not everybody has to do lyrical theology but even if it's like uh sort of worldview like christian worldview music right even that to me just doesn't sound the same anymore where it's like okay there's people who may not be um as explicit about their yeah. faith but then it's like they can still <clears throat> paint a picture without even ne necessarily even talking you know, about jesus you can tell that this person yeah. knows what they're saying exactly. like, like they know the lord you know what i mean 